I kind of want to build another new Supra, or uh, another old Supra. Ollie says hi. I'm just going to look at this. Experimental purposes only. Uh, actually, I think there was a reason I didn't have a body kit on this, and I think it's because it doesn't, doesn't get front arrow, but I might be wrong. Let me double check here. Yeah, that's why. So we're going to take the body kit off. I don't think that this car will make it into S-Class, uh, but we'll, we'll take a look anyway. Engine swap. Let's go with the big... The big boy. Oh, it does get the V6, though. Let's just take that off for now. Take this off for now. Throw everything, as far as grip's concerned, on. It gets 4-3 handling. I mean, not the best. Not the best. Is this the right engine, by the way? I think it is, right? No, it's not, is it? Tell me, in, somebody tell me in chat. Somebody will tell me. I believe. Or is it this one? This gets the supercharger. Hold on, I will build these out and see which one I like the most. Interesting. So this this engine is barely where it needs to be for power. I don't want to put cams in. Let's just say that is the build for now. On this one, 311 on the power to weight ratio. Um, 10 to 4 4 handling 26 18. 26 18. All right, now let's check this out. Again, I don't usually put some of these upgrades on, but in order to get the power that I need, I have to. Ooh. I don't even remember what the power to weight ratio of the other one was. Short term memory loss, what was it? Let me know, chat. Is that better? That looks okay. Honestly, the V12 would be better, but that's fine. It's heavier though, isn't it? It's a lot heavier. The other motor is better. Uh, let's go sock motor and see what it does, though. Not e anywhere near where I need where I need it to be. Not even close. All right. The V6 it is. That lands right on 800. I mean, ideally, I wouldn't be right on 800, but that's fine, I guess. All right, we'll send it. Serious rumble effect that can unsettle the car on We're gonna need more top end than that. Uh, let's go full arrow. Let's go brakes. hope that it sticks on 55. I doubt it will, though. We'll see. We shall see. Honestly, tempting to put a wide body on and just run no front arrow, but that's a bad idea. We'll see how bad it is to try and get out of corners. 
gotta move my, my computer screen. There we go. Oh, it's not that bad on power. Doesn't really accelerate as hard as I would hope, though. I guess what else would I expect? Look at the power. I mean, it's not bad. Porsche. Anyways, uh, let's bring this up a little bit. I'm gonna lower this a hair. I'd like to soften the springs a bit. Sitting at 49.88 at the moment. Nice. Well done. Actually, I'm gonna leave that. Um, I think I can bring this up a bit. I think I can lower this as well. Let's see if I can go, if I can get away with doing this little trick, that would be lovely, but I don't know if I'll be able to. And I need a little, oh, I don't really need to go more than 217. I'm not going more than 217 on the track, so I'll, I'll be fine there. Let's do first gear, somewhere around there. Second, third, fourth, and fifth. Ish. Okay, let's see if I top out. I, sh I should be okay, though. B-Class lobbies have been really fun this week. Yeah, I am I would have liked to race in B-Class, but I, I'm a little more interested in this uh, cylinder series of, that they've got going on, so I wanted to try it out. So right now we're just making sure that I won't top out on the straightaway. Ah, plenty of room. Plenty of room. 200 is too tight. 204. We'll do a 208. I can also lengthen these gears at the start. Shorten this a little bit. Let's get some more, uh, some more mid-range here. Let's make sure it launches out of first gear. Wow, first gear could be second, couldn't it? Yep. All right, let's go into this corner and see if I can come out in the second really well. So I can actually make first basically where second is. And then have these close together and just rip through the gears up high. And that'll give me a better uh, better taste of the power band. S-Class six cylinder. We've got the old super out today. Got quite a bit of power in this car. Uh, I stuffed it full of all the handling parts and then stuffed it full of power. Since it doesn't get a whole bunch of handling, that means it's got a whole bunch of power. We're running 860 something horsepower. Let's drop to the back and see what happens. Bye, Porsche. I went a little, little hot into that, although everyone's kind of stopped there. Didn't really impact anyone, though. If anything, I got people up to speed. Let's go. Uh, I don't have anywhere to go. That worked. 
That's something I've meant to try and get in the habit of because it's a good way to avoid collisions you can't really avoid. Alright, I'm going to get early on the brakes here just because I don't have anywhere to go. Hopefully I don't get hit from behind. I think we'll be okay. And now the handling section where this car will struggle. Let's see if I can continue to gain any ground though. Traction's actually quite good for this much power with a rear-wheel drive car. I'm kind of surprised. It's not struggling out of corners at all. Red Force is sending it. Let's see if I can get around those two. Whoa! Got the power down and got out of there. They're battling. I did not want to be a part of that. Now one's off the track almost. Loving the Buick. I'm just gonna sit here. Ooh, we're stopping, and I'm going. See so, yeah. ya. Maybe I'm not. Ooh, that was so sketchy. Half in the dirt the whole time. Got a muscle car in first. Love to see it. Hold on. Is this gonna be me taking first place? This is me taking first place. Is this me holding first place? Yes, it is. For now. We'll see how fast that car is in the straightaway, but I think we're pretty similar. He does have my draft, though. But that is first place after one lap. Thank you very much for that sub. Here's the P1. Love to see it. There's the P1. Appreciate that support, Lakashi. Now let's rip some laps on the Supra. I kind of like this thing. Weirdly enough, I kind of like it. It has no business being an S-Class, but you stuff it full of 800 plus horsepower and hope for the best, and the best is doing all right. It's working out okay. It grips up a lot better on acceleration than I thought it would. Like, I can plant it, and it barely spins. Quite good, actually. Very happy with how this car turned out. All he is too, he's very happy about how this car turned out. He just wanted to let you know. Listen to the backfires too. I was able to make first gear super long, just to put the- oh! Oh no, we're gonna take the wall, we're gonna take the wall. The car slid out kind of unnaturally there, it must have been curving. But I will eat that wall, and uh, save it for another day. Pride was left on the wall. But anyway, I pulled the gearing pretty close together, I just gave it a really long first gear. Because it spins the tires in first gear anyway, so I might as well uh, give it a super long first gear, put the other gears really close together, and that way you're in the power band almost all the time. Just making peak power for almost the entire race because of the gearing. One thing I am curious about is the tire wear, but the car is quite light. Be interesting to see if it burns the rear tires off though, even though I'm not spinning them much. How does second place have 875 where the penalties and fourth place, fourth place have 850? That is insane. They must be doing some crazy stuff back there. I'm glad I'm not in that mess. Huge penalties. Let's try not to lose it on the curb there on the kink again. See if I can put in a decent lap. 
before my tires go away. Yeah, I actually really like this car. For some reason, it's working pretty well. We'll see what the lap actually, what the lap time actually looks like here, though. Let's play it really safe there. Not gonna go anywhere near anywhere near that inside curve this time around. I know my Mercury Cougar can hit a 206 here, but that's on soft tires, so we'll see. We'll see here. Whoa. Four seconds up. Matt, thank you very much for the prime. Appreciate that, buddy. 2087. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Look at all the collisions popping off on the right side. Holy cow. Absolute chaos back there. Rear tires are going. And a 725 on somebody else for penalties. My goodness. Popping and begging on the downshifts. I feel like I could hit a 206 with this car on softs. I feel like I could. Oh, rear tires are definitely starting to go now. That rear grip just isn't there like it was before. I have a huge gap on the field though, it's not like it really matters. But the car definitely wouldn't spin in second gear out of that corner like it did just then. Yep. There's orange on the rear right, or rear left. Ooh. Getting a little sketchy now. Double orange on the backs. Fronts are still, still okay though. Yellow, but not orange at least. Now it's just having trouble putting the power down. Woohoo. Big slide. Huge burnout. Look at the tire marks. And across the line. The Supra looking good. 2087 was the fastest lap of, or from uh, myself for that race. I definitely think that it would do, or 2087. I definitely think it would do a 207, maybe it may be a 206 on a really good lap there. But Supra looking good. That thing, uh, thing turned out to be a good choice. Swap the engine, throw on this engine, we'll do almost everything. That looks okay, but again, it's not quite there as far as weight's concerned okay well it's better than the other one was I'll do like a couple laps and we'll see how it compares to the uh... all okay, right lots of time we'll see how it compares to the Cougar I don't know if it'll be faster than the Cougar but my guess is it'll... it's not going to the top or anything though like those cars are way above what this thing can do but we'll give it a go Yeah, I don't need that much. There we go. Just knock everything down a couple. 
Something like that should be okay. How much faster it will be. Oh, it's faster than the cougar in the straight. Pulling on the cougar. We'll see how it does through the handling section, but it's looking promising. It's faster than the cougar, friends. I just need to drive better. I should be able to get a five here. Whoa! It did that again. It did it again. This very similar thing in a very similar spot. Just lost all grip for some reason. Oh, easy fives. Oh my goodness. Hey, what's up, Lamborghini? Good to see ya. I could probably hit a four if I sweat it out. I'll be honest with you. Here's a fun alternative car for y'all. The only thing I'd like to tune out is the sketchiness on some of these faster corners for some reason. Now if I went and raced my own ghost with this same car, I would probably make up a few tenths pretty quickly. But we're just going to leave it at that. If I get a little bit quicker on this lap, I do. If not, that's fine too. Just gonna plant it out of the slide and hope for the best at work. I'm gonna try a second here. I think that's a little quicker. Honestly, like, that's almost a four already. That's an easy four without that much issue. My goodness. I did not expect that out of this car. I'll be honest with you. Did not expect that. But hey, absolute ripper. 
Holy crap, that thing's a cooker, though. Like... Oh, no, I gotta do it. I gotta do it, right? We need... I gotta do it. Seven minutes? So I have two laps. Okay. Let's see if I can hit it. Thing is, the first lap's almost a throwaway because the tires aren't worn, but we'll see. All I need to find is a tenth and a thou. Bit of a throwaway first corner. I can make that time up though. Do I skip lap already? Because I blew those two? Or do I just see where I can gain time back? Let's see where I can gain time back. I know I can gain time back here. And here. Oh my goodness, there's more than a tenth alone. Holy cow. This should be easy to beat. Just a matter of if I make a mistake that ruins it or not. I can gain a whole bunch of time back there, too. Definitely second out of that. Alright, let's see. I don't have to put a perfect lap together, just a decent one. Down super hard. Car killed me. Car killed me. I don't know if I have enough time to run another lap. Anyone have a, a read on how far into Lamar? Do I have like three minutes? Three minutes dead? Three minutes, 20 seconds. Okay, we're good. Not a great first couple corners, not terrible though. I can make that time back easy in the mid sector.
They tried. They tried to slide. Missed that. Thanks for the sub. <laughs> Thanks, Wannabe. I appreciate that. I missed that corner, though. Might have to shelf it for now and do it another day. We'll see, though. I didn't get a slide there. How much is that? I don't know if it's enough. Oh, <laughs> that's pain. That's so close. I missed that one corner and that was all of it. But anyways, 11th place, I'll take that. 11th in the, in the world, good enough. A few moments later.